Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time for our Game Fuel marquee match, and what a match we've got. Optic Chicago taking on the LA Thieves. This is an important matchup indeed, friends. You don't want to miss this one. We hope you're seated comfortably because we're in for a real treat here. Today's been a, a great day of Call of Duty. We knew it was going to be a good day chance, but we weren't quite prepared for wild and crazy London upsets. Rocker with the cleanest 3-0 you've seen in quite a while. Ding, straight through that one. And now, LA Thieves, Optic, this is bound to be an absolute treat. My name's Miles, and his name's Chance. How you doing, mate? I'm doing great. Like the seating for this one might not matter too much, but you get Thieves against Optic. You get the final opportunity to get that win under your belt right before the major. One of the best possible matches we could have to, to end our stage five. Absolutely love it. Well, it's a Game Fuel uh, marquee match. So that means we're going to have our Game Fuel featured player. Uh, someone we're going to be shining that little spotlight on that you fans voted for. And who else did you vote for? It's the king himself. It's Scum. Get a bit bored of these friends. As soon as we give you the opportunity to vote, all you do is vote for Scumpy. With rightful decision though, because it's been fantastic recently. The players, you know, on Optic, they've been putting in so much work and trying to turn their season around. They've had so many heartbreaking moments throughout the majors. It's been tough, man. It's been tough. Like a lot of round 11 exits, really difficult scenes for them, but they are certainly turning their game around. Scum, a key, crucial key part of that. Quick look at his stats chance. And the king, mate, when you swing at the king, you better not miss. I mean, dude, it's hot five for S and D K D. Like he has genuinely been in his bag this year. One of the best years Scump has had in quite some time. And it's not like he ever really has bad years. He just kicked it up an extra notch uh, here in Cold War. And even if the respawn stats are sort of middle of the pack for an SMG, that is exactly what you want on your team. Scump has just been completely phenomenal. And as a whole, like really, I think you already mentioned it. It's like those game five round 11 moments where they falter, where Optic hasn't been on point. That has not existed throughout stage five. They're shaping up in this stage to maybe have a perfect run. You get the win against phase. They have 3 0 literally everybody else. This is the best optic have looked all year long, and they're looking to peak at the exact right time right <laughs> at the end of the year. We've talked about them enough. Now, friends, it's time that we meet them. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get this Game Fuel Marquee match underway. Let's bring them out. Chicago Optic. Mighty keeps it going in formal. Looking fantastic. Envoy slaying his way through. It's gone from up high, the king. I'm out here doing what they think it is irrational. Really start to run that score up. I'm gonna make it bad, bad. I'm gonna make it bad, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, up to game in a back. Chicago are a force to be reckoned with. Chicago now chance with an opportunity to certainly keep the ball rolling. You said it, man. They're peaking at the right time. Dashy, Envoy, Formal, and Scum. The squad's in the in the finest form it's seen in quite some time. We love what we're seeing from them. How do you feel about the team going into this matchup? Uh, phenomenal. Uh, I feel great about this team. I, I think throughout the year, that, like it, they've been like underrated by the community. They've been consistently top four the entire year long. They've had a few small like tragic moments, but outside of that. They've been great. The only concern I had about this team was their ability to get past phase, and they've already done that. They got that game five win, so as far as I'm concerned, they are here. They are capable of winning, uh, and specifically against Thieves. Throughout stage five, they've been clear-cut the better team. No losses on their record. Again, they're only two map losses they have had in this stage. We're against Atlanta phase, so uh, again, this is very optic. This is their time, and again, trying to hit that peak at the exact right time. Yeah, hitting the peak indeed. Another team also looking to hit that peak is, of course, their opponents. The squad now brought on John. John's been having a decent run of things so far, but for the LA Thieves, they've got to keep pulling the magic together. Can they find that magic today? We'll find out in a brief moment. Time to meet the Los Angeles Thieves. LA Thieves dressed to impress. Will they be able to do the same in game though? Chance Kenny draws the slasher, a newcomer and very old face here in the scene. World champion John rounding out the squad, mate. We've had it all from the LA Thieves, right, man? We've seen them find great success against good teams. They push Atlanta to the distance and then they lose to Paris. And you're like, all right, cool. Who's showing up today? What kind of series are we going to have? What are you looking for in this matchup, my friend? 
I, I mean, it is almost the same time as what we cast him last time. Is like most of my attention for this team is going to be on John. He is the X factor for the squad, and that is like the number one game fuel key to victory in my mind. If he is performing, Thieves are winning. If he is not, they are losing. It is almost as simple as that. Uh, I mean, across the board, Draza and Kenny always on point. Slasher a little more inconsistent, but still has had phenomenal moments. In my mind, it comes down to John. And well, when you look at the first bloods for this series, Optic have been phenomenal throughout stage five in that regard. So I'm thinking for Thieves, they just need to make sure that they are setting up today. The first bloods are not falling it their way. They need to be getting those trades. And more importantly, I would not be wanting to play Raid Control against Optic. It's gone through every single time. They are 4-0 on that map throughout Stage 5. Bump Thieves don't want to deal with that at all. On the flip side, though, your Game Fuel keys for Optic Chicago. Funnily enough, it's not just like the, the individual plays, right? Like we talked about Scump a little bit earlier on, but there are currently two teams where every single player is positive in every single game mode. Optic is one, FaZe is the other. It is across the board. Optic have been just completely on point. Their teamwork has been completely insane. And as long as they let that ride, they should be good to go. And their communication also just a, a very interesting focal point. One of my favorite listening throughout the entire year. Uh, I can't remember if it was their most recent series or the one before it, but it was like on a Moscow hard point. We were listening to them just like have a casual conversation, just taking their time set up like, hey, all right, this is the situation. You do this, you do that. And it just seemed like one of the most professional listenings we have had. And again, Optic, one of the best in the business. And they are on point, but just to take a look at your maps and modes, again, that Moscow hard point, we have seen both the Thieves and Optic love to battle it out on this map. And, well, Miles, that's where we start our series. Oh, it's going to be a treat for us. Moscow Express, double dose of checkmate, and a Moscow game five should we need it. I kind of hope we get there. I'm not going to lie, dude. I, I mean, we've had a great day of COD. Why not finish it with even more good COD? Am I wrong? Am I incorrect? I don't think I'm so. Not in the slightest. I don't think so at all. Here we go, though, friends. We're loading into this one. Moscow Hardpoint will be map number one in this series. Optic taking on the LA Thieves. Game one. Let's get it, my friend. Let's get it. Uh, it's also worth pointing out, by the way, just that checkmate Hardpoint slipping through. Uh, it always catches me off guard when teams let it through against Optic. I'm sure Optic, as soon as they saw that, probably just let a big smile. They were like, all right, cool. That is fine by us. Checkmate Hardpoint, they were what, 10 and 1 on the map. Optic has been the, the best team in the game. I think pretty much from day one for that map four that we have in this series. Of course, that is if we get there. Moscow is where we are going to be starting. Thieves have played this in almost every single series that they have had, and they will be here once again. Right now, it's Envoy versus, well, John and Draza. SMGs meeting up front. John strikes for the first blood. Just to try to open the game up. Opening, the up, opening up the central hard point as we do over to our game fuel featured player, it's Scum, and it's Scum finds himself one. Gonna get himself a little more damage here, and Envoy and Formal picking up the other kills and bringing them up the rear, and so far, an exciting stuff here. And Draza, I mean, you can already see he's just sitting there crouching, waiting for his teammates to try to set up and make this play. And if you're going to take the time to set up, you got to make sure you get it too, because they're not going to have the spawns for new. Optic right now just punishing straight off the opening break. And, well, there's the idea. Try to flood through the street. John's able to find a couple kills, but just gets caught on the cross, milking all of this time is Optic Chicago. But they did not block the spawns. So you have a couple players in the back, but Skunk doesn't care. He's 4 0 to start things off, and only one more player he needs to find gets him immediately optic chicago the perfect p1 hill uh, how great can it go now in a p2 we're gonna see the thieves try to break in through white here they go straight into one boy scum gets two more seven oh no give him the eighth come on well it's a good start nonetheless and i believe it was full streaks but hey it was a perfect p1 p2 so damn good Still damn good so far out of Optic. Scump right back at it. Now going for the headbutt. Gonna find a few and the trades come through and chance. Whew, we're having fun in our marquee match. That's for damn sure. And this is an important time for Thieves to get. And that scrap time actually is gonna be pretty big because Scump was not able to get the cruise, just the artillery, but he's gonna get this probably just for the information. Just gonna go for that ping and knows that it's just gonna be two players here uh, right away. So the more aggressive you play, the better. And Envoy, no time wasted, gets in the mix. The Scump knows he needs to get the trade. 
he delivers, has the streaks that he's not going to need to call in just yet because Optic, the rotation is clean and perfect and what they want, set up and ready to go, the Money Hill begins. Money Hill indeed. Well, Charles, you said a moment ago that one of your favorite listeners of all time was based the Optic here on Moscow Hardpoint. Well, hey, man, we're going to treat you to one more. Let's go for a quick Astro Gaming listen in with Optic Chicago. Step front. You're right here, Seth. Are you? Flash it with the word, It's going to be front, front guys. It's going to be front. I'm holding your front, man. I'm holding your front with you, Matt. I'm holding front. Yeah, we can I'm going to help Seth mid. All right. All right. Drive it. There. Nice job, yo. Keep blocking. No, I'm absolutely mad. I'm absolutely laying out for a second. You're good. I'm watching us. Yeah, I'm going out with Dill. I'm going out with Dill. I'm going to shoot. I heard my shoot. Okay, I have the push. I have the new push. We got to kill this one behind us. Yeah. It's on the other side. Dead. What deep street? Deep street. 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 Yo, there's two Flash your back statue, two statue, statue. Back. I know, I'm, I'm still gold window. I'm getting, I'm getting bank. Yo, Kenny could have pinched low key. I'm holding bank, I'm holding really bank. Want. In bank of me. Oak Jaws are weak. Bank dead. Oak Jaws one shot going. Kenny dead, uh, Kenny's dead. Nice. Elbow, elbow, elbow. I don't do, I don't do nice. nice. Let's nice. Go, nice. Elbow, I got some, I got some, I got some. Elbow, 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 other one on me. I need to push, 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 push. Two, two more there. Two more. Oh, one, two, two. Okay, they're all there. All there. All there. All there. Okay. All there. All there. I got out of time. Yeah, just keep him off this. Keep this. Keep him off this. Kenny Pillar. Kenny Pillar. Really weak. He's still there. Yo, Buzz. Pillar. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably Rocky. Uh, maybe one bit. Nothing glass. Yeah. I don't see. I'm going to help Seth. I'm helping Seth. Maybe one bit. One's Buzz. I have the set. What's the time? Mine there. I don't see time. Pillar shot time. Backside time. Flash. Backside. Back time. Uh. Back time. Weak. Rocky said another one bit. Another one tree, another one tree. It'll get oh, you. Gold window, John. Gold window, John. He's out globe. Out globe, John. Right, right, right. One up, one up. Keep one up, one up. Nice. One more out. I have a spawn killed. I have a spawn killed. I have a killed. Yo, he's playing or playing? Guys, we're spawning street. I'm just holding side. 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 I have all the P2 window. I have your right, Matt. I'm just watching. Let's ride John. Ride John. Watch the right. Still right. Watch out. Watch out, he's hella weak, he's hella weak. I'm holding it. I'm just holding close ticket. I'm just holding close ticket. Nice. Another one glass, another one glass, Brandon. Glass. Brandon dead. Glass, P2, 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 P2. 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 P2.
lands the shot. As the 74U is not done yet, but mate, I'm gonna say it again. It's 20 for the win now. A cakewalk for Optics so far. Envoy 18 and 10. 17 and 11 dashy. Formal 12 and 14. We'll have some words. Skump though, 21 and 8. Unbelievable performances so far out of Optic, and they have managed to get the scrap time there. They've got themselves a very close hard point now. They're gonna dive on in, maybe get the win. Thieves though. A lot of work to be done here, mate. Not just in this game, though, but I think in the mood overall, because if this map comes to a close chance, you've got to go into a search and destroy after this, and you better be getting them vibes right back up. I mean, I, just, I don't even know what to say. That was one of the best Moscow hardpoint games we have seen all year long. Optic can do no wrong. Efficient game from then. Just another day in the office. I just insanity. Like, I can't even get super hyped for it because of how, like, unstressful that game was for these guys. I mean, the comms, the teamwork on point, every single hill. And the one moment where, like, they finally don't win a rotation, boom, you get an artillery, call it in, scum finds two, flips the spawns. Like, everything that could have gone right for Optic did go right for the game number one. And what a way for those guys to start this series. Optic performing surgery on the LA Thieves in map number one. They open them right up and have their way with them. There you go, though. That's that. Done. LA Thieves are going to be trying to forget all about that one. As Scum, our Game Fuel featured player, puts on an absolute show for us. Five and two in hard points versus LA Thieves this season alone. The Moscow continues to be perfect for them. Great stuff open up the series here. I mean, the next we're playing Express s and after this chance. I mean, you've got to be feeling brilliant if you're Optic. A 3-0 is what they want, obviously, given the current form, but Thieves still got some life in them, still got a lot of play still, and depending on which version of the Thieves we get today, we could be seeing a long series. But quick look at those stats, and oh my god, Scum, 22 and 8. Everyone putting in the good work. Great stuff to start the series off. And it was literally right from the opening break where Optic was just on point. And maybe that was the one mistake they made the entire game is when they give up those back spawns, but then Skump just walks to the back spawns, kills a guy up top BD, and then they lock it down anyway. Again, just a game where Optic could do no wrong. A game where they can do absolutely no wrong, and now the LA Thieves have a bit of work to do ahead of them. Optic decimate the competition in map number one. We're going to throw to a quick break, and when we come back, express search and destroy, friends. You don't want to miss it. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by GameFuel. Unlock a CDL team pack with any purchase on GameFuel.com forward slash CDL while supplies last. Offer ends on August 31st. Tournament audio and team listen-ins are powered by Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Call of Duty League. And we are back, friends. Welcome back to Call of Duty League. We still got ourselves Optic taking on Thieves. It's a good old-fashioned head-to-head against two of everyone's favorite hoodie orgs. But here we go. I think we got a spread search and destroy coming up very soon, Chance. And what do you think, mate, so far of the KD ranks going into stage five? I mean, about as good as it gets. S and D, maybe slacking off a little bit, except for the fact where they're like four and one in search to the stage, so they've been on point anyway. I mean, again, 
When I'm looking like throughout the year, the only two teams that have won a tournament so far were Toronto and FaZe, obviously mostly FaZe, and those two teams also, most of their like stage performances have been incredibly clean. I, I mean, both FaZe and Toronto like almost never dropping maps, 3-0-ing just about everybody, occasionally they'll go to a game five. That is currently the stage performance that Optic Chicago is having. Like, if they end up pulling off this 3-0, it will be 3-0-ing everyone, except for FaZe, who they beat in a game five, because that's the only way you can beat FaZe anyway. Like, this is obviously the best they have looked all year long. And again, this is a team that seems to be, if nothing else, striving for, for perfection. I, I mean, just a purely dominant game number one. And, well, as we go into Express, again, that is what Optic is going to be shooting for. They want the 3-0. Close out there, stage five on the highest note possible before the final two tournaments of the year start to kick in. And man, it's like, it's the truly the, the most serious the entire season will be. We've had our fun throughout the year, friends, it has to be said, but this is it. These sort of last few moments of online practice before we can really get going. We won hell of a stage, Major. We won hell of a playoffs. Can't wait to see how it goes. But into the bomb. We go bombs in the sorry in the hand of scum <laughs> into the bomb. We go into the search. We go bombs in the hand of scum. We're going to be making our way sort of towards A for a moment. The flash check lands. I don't like this out of optic. They hard sold that. They were like, yeah, we're coming A. We're coming A. Get your defense ready. Psych. We're going to B. Woo. Hey, that is a hard read as well by the thieves. Just a quad stack over on A. I thought for a moment Formal was genuinely trying to square up with the Diamati down like the middle of the map, but. It did switch over, but that cracked me up just for a moment. But there you go, bomb planted. It is going to be the, the tried and true four-man retake. Uh, and I think, honestly, we've seen a lot of successful retakes uh, over the course of this year. Optic, though, certainly not going to want it to happen. And they're playing a bit more aggressive. You already got a guy like Dassey trying to make plays, and he's going to be flanking too. Here comes the perfect pinch. Both wings covered. Oh, from behind, Dashi's going to get two of them. Scum, the other two! What a there round! Optic, close that one out quick and easy. Uh, and I was trying to set it up for almost that exact same thing. Uh, of like, we have seen so many retakes where the teams just double hit down both of the ramps. And if you just turtle up inside, it can be incredibly difficult to win those gunfights. And it can be tricky. Dashi, I'm sure, has done his homework. I'm sure they have talked this over. Goes on the flank, picks up a double kill. There's only one more ramp left to watch. And well, Scump, if you're paying attention to map number one, uh, he's going to be getting all those kills. He is not missing for the moment. They are lining up for him as well, but it is now Thieves back on the attacking. Oh, my dear. Draza, we will see you in round three. Yep, that was that was a quick and nice kill out Kenny. Levels it up, 3v3. You've got way more B-bomb site control. I say way more. You basically got the whole thing now. But Kenny, top the power position. Now the reads on where Optic are going to be coming from. As that bomb goes down. Slasher on the other side, though, watching that catwalk. He probably won't see a whole lot. He needs to start bringing that gun over towards the fight because it's coming. Dashi, Scump, lean the push. Nice nade out of Dashi. Does tag up his teammate. That's going to slow down the play. That might be a blessing. Oh, my God. He makes the kill work out, though. Slasher gets involved. John now on the retake. Scump, last player left alive. It's a 1v1. And he's Whoa, jumped. Whoa! He's just jumped the bomb. Is Slasher going to check it? He does. Oh, my God. I love the attempt. But Slasher doesn't fall for such parlor tricks. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Good round out of the thieves. We're right back at it. Oh my God. I, and I got it. You know, that is one of those split second decisions where it is, you know, you're just trying to evaluate your best odds play. I think Scum did the right thing. Love the attempt just to hop the bomb, uh, especially all one shot. But Slasher, uh, again, you talk about a player with some experience under his belt, also makes the perfect play and goes for the attack. Nice bounce back round by the Thieves. Showing a few signs of life is everyone, at least for Optic, running out towards B. You see the idea. This is the site they apparently are going to be preferring. And once again, it is the same thing. All four players down. It is the Trident 2 4v4 retake. This time, Thieves, instead of both the ramps, it looks like two players going to be working through the middle of the map while they're waiting for Draza and John to get set up on the flank. They got peace last time. It's the league play special. Everyone go B. Kenny though, Ow. nice read, nice window. He's in, formal though from up high. Big shots are through, the slip and slide though. Kenny wins the fight there. Kenny gets another one, but Envoy, the last man up. <laughs> that was a very valiant attempt though, Chance Optic come out on top.
Hey, can someone help Kenny out? That is surgical. He gets the kill on the guy to like watch the ramp and then he just shreds, trades the kill on formal and kills Dash, but everyone else just dies. I mean, Kenny just makes the perfect play. Like that is an entry Krig finding the small window of opportunity. I mean, genuinely an absurd play from Kenny that in the end just does not make a single bit of difference. Optic, uh, I mean, respond to the chaos. Uh, tried in true form, and well, Kenny can make some noise. That is a, a four stack from Optagon defense. A has been left out wide in the open. And it really just is up to the thieves uh, of how quickly they want to try to get this bomb down, or maybe Formal has wrapped back just quickly enough, or maybe we'll slow the pace down just a little bit. Maybe. Quavo wouldn't have got a fraction of those kills, you know that. Kenny's sick. Oh, absolutely Quavo not. Quavo would have been, he got his, he would have been smoked like right off the rib. He wouldn't have checked that corner and killed Scum. Early shots. Warning shots, if that. As Envoy, I think he may have seen enough of John's head there. Trophies are going to keep everyone safe. Oh, Scum flies forward. First blood. Flasher. He's going to get the trade. Good job. Even Stevens. 3v3. I'll take have overtaken the bomb site though. Here comes the quick check towards it. It's Envoy in that tight corner. Brilliant workout of Envoy. John though. Nice read. Formal at range. 2v1. All on John. And Formal reads him like a book. Dash, he's got plenty of time to get the defuse. You're going to clean up a couple of trophies here or there. Give it to Formal on the two spree. A clean and clinical retake from Optic. And just on point, right? I mean, we talked about the first bloods ever so briefly, but throughout stage five, Optic, one of the best teams in the game in that regard. And that is just Thieves constantly on the back foot. Like they did a fairly nice job to get the trades, but it was just formal towards the end. One shot. How long does it take to figure it out? That is just good communication from his teammates. And I mean, John doesn't even get a bullet off before he falls. So shout out formal, helping them win the round. Optic, no time wasted. 3-1 lead. Uh, and what seems to be a, a fairly quick game thus far. Optic pushing the pace. I feel like they set the pace in that first round and it's just been so hard to pull anything back after that. But Thieves on the quick push in towards B. They make the hard read and it's not the best one. But you still have to worry about Envoy in that position. He's going to make a, a decent amount of noise. Slash has come in here late. I think he may have seen the shadow of Dashy there move around. This is a big nade up top. That should hurt. No, trophy. Again, tells you the bomb's down. If the bomb going down I actually tell you that. Here we go. It's another 4v4 retake situation with these fast plants from Optic. Here we go, Chance. And you do have a full flank coming in. He is right now trying to set up the pinch. And well, it's two players on the trains, two players in the, the catwalk balcony. So Optic are effectively trapped in, but that doesn't mean they're not ready for the gunfights. Formal strikes for the first blood. Trades are through, but maybe oh. for both sides an envoy. Flanks the flank, finds the opening. You know they're going to find these kills. Optic dominating the round. And I got to say, I think some of the only S&D games from Optic this entire year where they just have, like, where they've looked poor, is when they're not making good play calls. Every single round, they have tried something new so far. Uh, and again, they're just playing Thieves like a fiddle. It, it was the first round on defense, Thieves four stack A. Well, Optic make the perfect call, rotate over towards B. Next time on offense, Optic four stack B. Nobody's home, you get the bomb down once again. The first time they go for a true A attack, Thieves, nobody is home, Optic. I mean, they've just been playing the opponent to a T in the first bloods again go their way. Yep, that's a nice start. Dashy on a three spree, almost backing him up here, helping him out in mid. Nice nade to push that player back. But once again, I mean, Optic are choking Thieves out right now. They are strangling him. Thieves with bomb. Again, John's backed on up. You got a bit of A bomb site control. Slasher helping him out on the left wing as well. I mean, plenty of time to Optic to maneuver around the map, wait for the push towards B. I mean, they know the hit's coming, but I think Slash is hoping for a pick. John's not getting the bomb down. They might be playing for kills in this situation. Maybe one or two more. I'm not sure. Plenty of time, though. Chance 3v2. We get that bomb down. It's not going to be easy. Now it's going to be really hard. John in a 1v3. And again, I mean, you don't even have enough time to, like, highlight how, like, good of an individual performance Dash has had. I mean, these guys are just playing with confidence. Like, there's just a, an air of superiority uh, around Optic. John going to do his best to try to clutch a 1v3, but again, barely has time to shoot his gun. Optic just swarming. 
Uh, I mean, again, Dashy, eight kills to his name. He's been on point. If you want some first bloods, Optic have been providing. Uh, I mean, this is two maps in a row where they are just simply outclassing their opponent. Optic, the mean green killing machines right now. This is hot stuff. They seem, they can't do anything wrong, man. There's <laughs> not a lot else to say. It's bloody perfect. It's not over yet. As exciting as things are going, as, as pumped as we are about their performances, and as damn happy as you know the fans are, Dashy 8 and 2, it's still 5 1. Thieves not out of this yet. Draza may be joining the old agency. The 0 and 6 so far. 006, of course, Alec Trevelyan of Goldeneye. Shout out the classics. Makes it up to the 7. We will see after this one, but here we go. Dashy making his way forward. Might just run across these two players. If they hit that corner, oh my god. Oh no. Bruce finds one. Dashy gets both of them. That's a five spree. And that is the agency right there. He does drop. And Bruce, he gives a little celebratory bag to the ground. Dunks his donuts. And there you go. Four more now over towards the bomb site. 2v2. Not over yet. Nice job by Slasher. Catches out the ankle. Scum in from behind. Now in the 1v1 against Kenny. It is Kenny versus Scum. The bomb has been planted. Here comes Kenny on the chow. Scump holds the line. Scump holds the line. And Optic absolutely decimate the thieves on Express. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, I mean, that was what? Dashy hit him with the Dunkin' Donuts. And then Optic as a whole just hit him with the Krispy Kreme gameplay. I mean, just pure insanity Ooh. for like both maps about as perfect as they could possibly be. Every first blood don't go in their way. And even the moment where you're like, ah, Dashy, like someone did a nice shoulder peek. They're gonna have the intel. It's a 2v1. Does not matter. Dashy finds two. I mean, again, not even playing with confidence, playing with just like a superiority complex. Optic Chicago, I mean, again, nearly perfect stage five that they have had, and they are one map away from seeing the deal and 3 0 everybody, not in phase. Big stuff there, friends. 8 and 3 for Scum, 10 and 3 for Dashy. Massive damage out of both from 17. Um, boy, sorry, sorry, hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just chilling. Yeah, he calls the shots, he tells everyone where to go, and he's like, right, I didn't have to do anything. I got 400 damage, man. I didn't have to do a thing. Raza does join the agency. We see the 007 there, of course, the superior of the agents, uh, Mr. Bond himself. Cue the music, you know the deal, friends. Uh, we do have our US Army tactical play. Man, it was gonna be that last round, Charles. It was just like, it was perfect. We saw Dashy's sweet two piece. It could have been the first round as well. Like the two piece they got around either side of the ramps. Like it was just great teamwork out of Optic. Everything you could have ever won out of Optic is starting to flow now in the search and destroy. US Army tactical play that round, Bruce Almighty. Uh, and again, I mean, just ridiculous gun skill. He will be happy to go and let them know sort of thing. But even with the trades coming through, it, it just doesn't make a difference. Optic just playing on point. Uh, and even for this 1v1 towards the end, Formal might get caught out by the two players on the pinch. But Skump, T2P, going to be there for the trades. And then honestly, it's just phenomenal positioning from Skump, right? Kenny's got the Krig. It's not an, adva or an advantageous like uh, gunfight he has to take. And uh, I think Scump is just sitting here listening to the slides. And he's like, all right, well, maybe I have to check in five seconds. But eventually, Kenny just gets forced into the funnel. And Scump, again, on point with it. Uh, I mean, just a phenomenal two games back to back is Optic looking to have the, the best stage they possibly could. Uh, again, one map away from a, a nearly perfect stage five. Social Sandboard Power by Astros. Chachi says they have families. Seth, they have families. Terrible, but you love it. Optic, they go 2-0 up in the series. There's a control coming up after this one. And if you're an Optic fan, you've got to be feeling fantastic. Thieves, the comeback has to start now. We'll find out if they can get it done after the break.
Call of Duty League is brought to you by T-Mobile. T-Mobile is the shot caller in 5G. Lead the game from the lobby to the last push with America's largest, fastest, and now most reliable 5G network. This is your Scuff Team of the Week, a super team built with four of the top performers at the most recent event. Three players were selected by the league and one was selected by fan vote. Stick around to the end to find out who made the team. Our first player, Afro of the London Royal Ravens. This young rookie only joined the Ravens squad at the beginning of stage four, but with the kind of performances he's been putting up, we'll probably be seeing plenty more of him in the future. The Ravens had only one match this week, but they managed to make it count, scoring a huge 3-2 upset over the New York Subliners. While the Ravens' playoff destiny has already been decided, it's good to see the squad still swinging to the finish. Afro played solid across the entire series, but we've got to highlight maps 3 and 5. Afro dropped a solid 18-9 scoreline on Raid Control, and in the Game 5 S&D, Afro went 11-3 across just 7 rounds. Next up, it's Skies. Skies and the Florida Mutineer squad had a fantastic week of games, beating both the LA Gorillas and the Dallas Empire to maintain their Stage 5 win streak. Skies was absolutely cooking in both series, dropping nearly 20k damage on the Dallas Empire before turning up even harder versus the LA Gorillas. Across the four maps the Mutineers played versus LAG, Skies racked up 78 kills and 43 deaths for a monster KD of a 1.81. Our third player, Envoy of Optic Chicago. Optic scored a massive dub this week, beating the Atlanta phase in a barn burner of a series that went all the way to a game five, round 11. Everyone on Optic showed up to play, but it'd be wrong of us not to give special mention to Envoy for the sheer impact he had in this series. There's only so much we can communicate with words, so if you missed this match, we urge you to pull up the VOD and pay special attention to maps one and five. To make no mistake, Envoy was an absolute demon across the whole series, but his ferocious dismantling of the Atlanta phase on Moscow Hardpoint and his icy, relentless aggression in the standoff search and destroy might just go down as some of the best COD performances we've seen in a long time. And finally, selected by fan vote, it's Cami of the Toronto Ultra. It's another 2-0 week for Toronto as their wins over the LA Gorillas and the Seattle Surge keep them comfortably on top of their group. Cami Stonks continue to rise as the man refuses to show mercy against any team he's up against. If we were to highlight a standout series for Cami, it's got to be Toronto's match versus the Seattle Surge, where he went 57-39 and across just three maps for a series KD of a 1.46. That's your Scuff Team of the Week for Stage 5, Week 2. Saturday continues, friends, our last series of the day, and God almighty, it could be over. Unless these four boys on your screen can get it together and find a win here. We've got Checkmate Control coming up. They're down by two in the series so far. Optic are given the old slippity slap, up, down, left, right, thing, you name it. It ain't going good so far, but for the thieves, let's talk roster moves. Oh, Chance yeah. to me. Look at that. Look at that absolute tome. Look at what they've had to go through to get to this point. It's been one hell I... of a season for the LA thieves. I, and it honestly, I mean, if nothing else, they have been incredibly willing to try to find like that perfect rust, right? And there's a couple moves that are like bold, but almost every step of the way, you can like see the idea. Uh, I think if anything, we have learned nothing else. Like Draza needs to not be on the bench anymore. Every time he comes in, at least initially, he seems like just like the, the hero for the squad. But it has genuinely just been a, a difficult year for the Thieves. They have not been able to try to hit their rhythm. Uh, and frankly, in this series, it's not looking like this is going to be the time where they figured out. Optic completely had their number. I mean, Scum, I, I mean, come on. 13-11, complete field day in both the hard point and the search and destroy. Uh, I mean, Dashy was popping off in the last game. And also, just to, to touch on that uh, Express S&D with Dashy, there's a handful of players that'll do it. It seems like players are, are more and more willing as the year goes on of like your AR, just pulling out a 74U and making different kind of plays on the map. Dashy, absolutely one of those players that could be the best in the world at making that switch. And well, it just shows off a little bit of that gameplay there, but 
the checkmate control we go where at least in terms of the records for both teams uh, very comparable no like discernible edge uh, in this head-to-head -head matchup that being said uh, I mean there has been one side with all the momentum uh, and that has been optic will be on the attack first if you are thieves you need a strong round on defense to kick things off and Draza may be the perfect player to try to get that hot hand and bounce back from that S&D performance. He owes the squad one after the search and destroy. That's just the way it goes, right? Swings and roundabouts. In the B we go quickly, there's no one in the plane. There's no one here. Where the hell are they? That's right, they're on the point. Raza, on this flank, a little late. Oh no, Envoy, nice oh, two-piece, yeah, gone though. There's still players in, they're still on the point. Scum's last man standing now, and Optic has still got a little bit of presence forward, but they did a lot of work on B. They haven't closed out the segment yet, so Get a couple more bodies on that point, or just keep finding kills. Get that first segment at B closed out. Over towards A, though, we go. Slow capture now, Chance and Optic. They are running circles right now. They're trying to find a lot of space. I love this angle out of formal. And I think uh, Emily got spot on the flank. Yeah, Kenny eventually finds that kill. So that is great awareness from Kenny, and then great kills from Dashy. It looks like A has actually been cleared out, though. Oh so in spite God. of the kills going fairly well for Optic, not actually able to find their way to Whoa. too much progression on either site. And even with the kills coming through, Draza still found one before he falls. And Optic still not a ton of map pressure. Whee. In spite of the opening break and in spite of some <laughs> sticks, Thieves have been fighting back. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but like Scum's managed to reverse the magnetism. And now those sticks are going everywhere, but... Is Optic looking fine so far? Kills going their way. And again, starting to drain B now. That's what you want to see out of Thieves. Straza are getting on point. Nice shots. Nice two piece there. Gets himself involved. Slashing out over towards A. He's starting to heat things up as well. So that's the 30 seconds remaining now for the LA Thieves. Good shots once again from Slash. This is a two spree right now, turning the map around. Again, trying to keep Optic at bay. That's the difficult point right now. It's Dashy, the blunt force object. Swinging his way forward. Good shots again out of Slasher. Keeps the spree going. Clock still ticking. Chance. 10 seconds remain. Oh, and Slasher and Draws are the Wombo combo. Start to get things going. And this should be the round. Oh, and they just hit that rhythm as well. That was a, a very strong start. Again, they needed a strong defensive win, and now you got Draza. He's on a four spree, and so is Slasher going into the second round. One of the two of them uh, certainly going to be looking to get some score streaks, and that is exactly the kind of round that Thieves are going to need to try to work their way back in this series. And any moment that seemed to be going forward for them, always had an answer for it. Great awareness when Envoy's trying to sneak through on the flanks. Nice job of retaking B, despite the fact that that's not often uh, the side that's hit straight off the rip. So it's very well done. And again, Slasher and Draza, each of these players going to be potentially thinking about some score tricks. As soon as one of them gets to five, especially on offense, you just dedicate yourself to it. Make sure that is a, a coordinated team effort to find one of these guys some score streaks. We're going B off the rip. I think they did a very similar hit in the last round. And it's trying to get it early on. Scum's going to get their first bud. Oh my god, T2P. Getting involved. Nice three kills between the two of them. Scum, they're still trying to keep that play alive at B. Slowing down the Thieves' approach. They have not been able to get close to that B zone. This has been great. Slash Shadow 5, 6 now. Any more to be had? Dash is now going to come. Bring his Krig to the party and start to slow this one down. Envoy from across map. There's the tags. Dash, he should be able to finish it. I say should. Slasher is a hard man to kill, apparently. Here we go. I know they didn't kill, too. <laughs> I, I was going to say, they knew that he was the one man to kill, and they got the job done, man. Dash, he had him pinned back, and Scum just finds the timing perfect. And the only problem Optic really had to deal with was the potential of uh, both those four streaks coming through. They shut those down straight away, and on defense, well, for both teams, they have held strong. I think not only they have plane control and the beamer, well, they've pushed up past A as well. You got Envoy cutting off the map, feeding the information to his teammates, and, well, that time is ticking less than 25 seconds now on the clock. John's trying to make that entry into the plane, but Dashi, yeah, uh, reads him like a book. Four kills now in a row for Dashi. And he is looking fine so far. Nice fight against Kenny Form is going to finish it up. The teamwork flow and an optic looking great. On their first defensive round, this should be it. A kill onto Slasher should seal the deal. John will be able to get a last minute contest here. Will they be able to make anything of this? So that's the question. Dashi says, hell no. Puts them down. Formal's there to get it. The kill's coming through. And we're done. There's the equalizer from Optic. Both defensive rounds going their way. 1-1.
And you got to give a little bit of credit to Slasher, right? You're on offense. It's not the easiest thing in the world, especially when your three teammates fall right in front of you off the opening break. And he nearly makes some magic out of it, picks up two big kills to knock on the devil's door. But again, just dashy and stump, too coordinated to let those score streaks get through. And maybe the theme that we are going to have, at least on this map, is just the, the potential of streaks coming through because I think it's formal now going into offense on a five spree. Or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe he died in the final second. I could have sworn I saw a formal times five pop up. I've been wrong before. Sorry, mate. We're all a little crazy. Here we go, though. He's back on defense. We've seen how effective the defensive rounds can be for both teams. Has been the tale of control today. Let's see if it keeps going, though. Steve's heavy presence in the plane once again. They do like it up there. Flush leather seats. A lot of room to work with. Goals going the way of LA Thieves. Three straight. And holding that defense down. Four more. Woo! Draws are starting line. to get back into the swing of things. That is a nice kill. And we get number four. As Envoy pinned in trouble. Draws are now to press the advantage before good reads there at the back line. With that Krig, perfect spot to be in. Yeah, he's just showing off the power of playing control, right? Picks up three from that position. Now Thieves, I mean, they're just able to scurry up the map and get control of everything they want. I mean, if you're Optic, you got to decide either try to flood through B or clear out your spawn. But if you're trying to clear it out, there is so much work you have to do. John causing problems back orange, but John also getting hunted down. Your base has been cleared successfully, but now less than 30 seconds on the clock, and you have zero ticks of progression on either point. Scump has a small opening over towards A, but again, it's a bit of a scatter for where his teammates are. But it looks like it's only John nearby and all the kills going the way of Optic. The, the opportunity for them to win the offensive round is still available. And you're seeing right now, I mean, look at every single kill we've had seen Optic get. The trades are so on point. If somebody's one shot, they're getting killed. Every time. Optic with the trades. Great teamwork so far. A is done. Close it up. Give them the minute. Let them roll over towards B. Draws are now with the top plane defense. The rest of the squad starting to back him up. As Optic have been slayed out, they're going to have to make their way in towards that B zone from their spawn. The only player still alive is Dashi, and he's still alive and kicking. This is a good look, but the rest of his teammates, they're getting pressured heavily. Dashi will now join them on the back left-hand side of their spawns. This could get real ugly real fast. Thieves pressing the advantage here on defense. Uh, and again, you're, just at, you're stuck in a spot where you're going to have to fight out of your spawn, and Kenny's been playing a corner that Formal tried to rot back to look for him, but... Not a ton of opportunities. Kenny gets dealt with, and Envoy maybe opens up a street just a little bit. But, uh, again, this is all for not Thieves. They have just been fairly firmly in control outside of for the, the one moment when they got captured. Still get pressure on all sides. Kenny playing the off angle, him and Envoy. Bit of a standoff that they're having. A lot of time to work with. 30 seconds now. Thieves got to hold the line. His first kill. Kenny tagged up through the box. Envoy's going to get himself two. That's his third in a row. This could be number four, but Slasher. Mad Titan rings true from up high. Still, clock ticking chance. 20 seconds now, or less than remaining. 15 now on the clock is formal and code. Got to make their way forward. Draza holding the line down. Just keeping an eye on that angle. Scump finding kills. There's an opening now to be had, but Draza's still alive. Former wins the fight on the left flank. Draza wins this fight as well, so now there's a bit of an opening, but you have to worry about the clock. Still, 1.8 on it. Draza can't stem the flow of reinforcements, but his teammates will. Another defensive round. The LA Thieves now take the lead here in control. And Draza, again, just on point. This is your best play from the, the start of the round, but even towards the end, he was picking up like three pieces, just defending uh, and constantly. Just the, the last man standing for his team that makes the big play and solidifies the map. Three for three on defensive rounds, and Draza certainly so far has made up for the search and destroy performance. Big wins all the way around, and I mean, for Thieves, hell, you don't have to worry about defense. Just try to get the, the win on offense, you know? Try to make the magic happen. We love magic here in the COD League. We love it. Look how Kenny makes players disappear just by looking at them. Draza still. That first blood, bad time. Slow start for both teams. As again, the nades will be slowed down by trophy systems over towards a B zone on defense we go. If we get another defensive round win, we're going to be going to that final round. And, oof, D2P, bringing in the goods. Here we go. Got to push those players forward. Chance again, that front line, you don't want to be dying on defense on your side of the map. Forward, charge, drive the spear into your opponents. John will find one. 
A little bit of breathing room to work with. There's four walls trying to keep that left lane open as well. Good nade, a two-piece. Gets himself Draza, gets himself John. Kenny will finally pick up something, get his teammates forward. But man, the defensive line chance of Optic just so strong right now. Yeah, nice win from Kenny, but even still, yeah, not the defensive line as well, but the teamwork too, just on point from Optic. Still pressure over towards Zay. John working in tandem right now with Draza. Both your SMGs on point and the trades are in. Draza using that bait well, unfortunately, gets hit by every <laughs> nade in the book, but hey, he's still alive. He's still kicking and he's got a couple more gunfights to take. He's thinking about maybe the flank or maybe again, just trades on trade. Ooh. Anytime someone on Optic gets a kill, Draza's there for the cleanup. 21 kills to his name. Currently tied for the, the lobby leader with Formal. But all this pressure over towards A, Thieves, I mean, they're shaped up. They're going to be able to get this. Three bodies on point. They take care of business. Gives them a minute and 30 to try to capture B. And they're up two lives. Big stack. Dashi now trying to hit those players in the backside of the spawn. Nice name from Kenny. Man, Kenny has just been sensational so far. Doing everything he possibly can to keep those players out. Three sprees for him. Over towards B we go. You've got a player on point. It's going to be John. And here comes the defense. Dashi charging forward. Kenny once again. Good shots. Reinforcements for Optic all taking shots. Skump though managed to slip in. Oh man, slides right on through. Gets that easy tag, easy kill, moves on out. The clock once again will start to flow. Again, Optic, I mean, they've just been consistently putting that pressure like through a street. That's where Envoy's making his move. So even if you get under the plane, Envoy's going to be there for the cleanup. John actually gets the trades though. And draws oh. it again up top. It is three bodies on point, one already through. And you got Skump trying to make the play. He gets red. Thieves, you talk about the bounce back in the control. They should be go to get this one and continue this series. They do get the offensive win. And that is game. Thieves down but certainly not out. Thieves, thick as thieves right on the point. They stack B fast. You see, I mean, you heard us both make an audible. Oh, as soon as he gets three players on a point like that, he gets captured incredibly, incredibly quickly. Two kills were they really needed an Optic. They were nowhere near that point. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, after what has been an absolute smoke show, the thieves are right back in it. Two to one so far. The chance we go to another hard point. I don't know how you feel about this one, but thieves, one step at a time. One step at a time. Quick look at the stats now on your screen. Hey, Andraza completely balled out. 4,200 damage, 23 kills to his name. Kenny, not too far behind, but uh, much better team effort across the board from the Thieves to get the offensive win. Uh, and again, their defensive rounds were on point. Miles, the one thing, though, that I'm fearful of, checkmate hard point is the next map. And, well, that's what Optic love to play on. They love to play on it. Spoiler alert, that's where we're going after the break, friends. We do have to go to that quick commercial break. LA Thieves, they buy themselves a lifeline in the series. How far will they go with it? Game five, maybe. We will see. We'll find out what happens in the hard point after this break.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Our Game Fuel Marquee match just got that bit more tasty. We crack another can, about to crack another map. We're going now after Checkmate Control. We're going to get ourselves another hard point here on Checkmate. But talk about John Chance. John, I mean, look, that's that line. It ain't good. But that first hard point was ugly. But give me some love for John, mate. He's uh, He's been influential. You said he was the X Factor truly for the team right now. And this is John's stats since joining the squad here in the LA Thieves. And make no mistake, again, he is a fairly late notice. It has been just about a, what, you know, less than a month that they have had with the guy to try to make things happen. So it's not an easy situation for him to come into, and he has certainly had some good moments, but he has also had a handful of bad ones. Again, a couple teams just put him in that, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 category. Uh, and when you talk about X Factor, I think literally his KDs in wins for hard points, he's dropping like a 1.08, which is very strong work with an SMG. In losses, though, he's put him about a 0.73, which is at the very bottom of the league. And well, 250.72 from Moscow hard point. That was Steve's map pick. Now we're going to a checkmate hard point, which is Optics pick on a map that they are 10 and 1 on, on a map that most or more often than not, other teams just decide to ban it. So. Obviously on the, the side of the Thieves, we're not there every day with them in practice. Who knows how good they've been on checkmate, but we'll get to see. But if that game one was any indication. Again, Skump just dominant. I mean, 123 in the hill on top of having like a, what, a triple positive KD. Skump has certainly uh, been on point this series. I'd love to see what his EKA looked like as well. <laughs> like if it was that good in general. But here we go. Oh, I mean, I trust Coach Jcap. He knows what's up. He had a game plan going into this one, letting checkmate fly on through. Here we go, friends. At number four, here in this series. Fun one we promised you. Will it be the end, though? Will the LA Thieves be able to pull this one back and force a, a very fun game five? Moscow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and we get there. We will see, though. For Optic, this is it. One more map's all they need. They can put the pads down, get the feet up. Skump can put his own shoes back on. They can get on with their day. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Into the map. Map number four. Let's get it. And, and you know, just for what it's worth, right? Like, you know, Optic has quite a few very strong hardpoint maps. So very often you're putting dual blind. They played Checkmate 11 times this year. So there's been quite a few teams that are just put in the tough spot of having to let it through. But we'll see if these has something cooked up for it. For the moment, though, maybe a bit of contest, or maybe Kenny. Aggressive with the Krig, as always. No fear in his heart. It ends up paying off, at least for the moment. Slash is able to pick up a, a couple kills and kind of kill spawners as well. Formal spawns up, dies to him again. But contest heavy, as always, this P1 hill can be. Both teams just going after it. And it is a mess in that plane. Oh, let me tell you. Now she woo! <laughs> Gets those one shots. It's like he's playing hardcore mode out here. That was nice. Probably a little bit of help. He's going to keep that kill going. Dashy still on that two spree. Hard point now in the hands of Optic. One's got a little bit awkward there. Again, we saw Slasher spawning that top left-hand side of the map. He's going to be able to hit a bit of a pinch here. But the rest of the team, they need to survive these engagements. If Kenny can get a kill, sweet. Screw it. Slasher got two. We'll take that. Nice turn of events now for the LA Thieves. I mean, hey, you go from getting bullied out on P1, you turn that into a perfect four down. Spawn them very far away, and Slasher again on top of the plane. I mean, he's only expecting the pressure to come through, but John's bleeding in the wings. Can't find the second, but either way, this is going to be, what, 20 seconds that have gone by before Optic can even think about a contest, let alone making the kills happen. Dash is certainly, though, doing his best, but even still, this has been a ton of time for Thieves so far. It's such an exciting map so far, getting worse, like Kenny and... And Dashy go at each other in these one-on-one -on -one fights. Like that was a big one there. Over now, though, to a very different kind of player. Scum, our game fuel featured player here in the marquee match. Looking at that approach towards the hard point. Nice damage, nice tags, but the LA Thieves, they will hold that one down. It's the second hard point so far in the map's been very good. So the Dashy, ooh, crazy little engagement there on the inside of the container. And still, the hold is there for the LA Thieves. Rotation, not so much. They have to get themselves over towards the center of the map now in order to really, truly contest and start reaping the time there in that next hard point. But it's up, it's open, and it's optics. I mean, hey, either way, 20-point lead, not too shabby. Envoy and Draza doing that little dance, and Envoy this time comes out on top. Basically, all angles covered for the spawners, and you even have, what, formal playing in the, the far back left of the map to make sure the spawns are exactly where they want them. 
Couple kills potentially coming through. You see Skump getting caught in Thieves. The bounce back is there. I, I mean, they just had an effectively perfect P2, and they're able to chain this quite effectively. This is the, the potential downside of playing for the spawns. You lose a little bit of that map pressure Ooh. that the Thieves taking full advantage of. Kenny at his best Ooh, yeah. when he is like full sprint ah. live wine. I do not understand this man. Oh, he's on a four speed right now, and I'm loving it. All right, let's do it. Let's go for a very quick vibe check and an Astro Gaming listen in with the LA Thieves. Well, as far as listen-ins go, certainly a different sound than what we had from map one, but there is no lack of information coming through the Thieves in these listen-ins. I mean, just non-stop with the comms and putting in some serious work, too. Uh, maybe an unfortunate last hill. Optic eventually able to get the break, but hey, first the rotations are in. You're going against Optic on one of their best maps, if not their best map. And you got a 30 point lead. You got some plane control thieves. They have done their homework and they are putting it to good use. Nerds! Good job, though, doing their homework. Oh, that's a nice nade. Envoy gets the, the sweet cleanup kill there as Optic go down and they're going to push on them out now. And again, hard point time going the way of the LA Thieves. This is glorious from them. There's no problem whatsoever we were worried about oh baby we were worried about them in that first map as they got absolutely eviscerated there on moscow the same can be said in the search and destroy but so far so good looking to force the game five they're not quite there yet though it's gone our game fuel Wah! featured player gets in the plane manages to take care of john the final 15 is going to be a contest but scum is fighting tooth and nail trying to reclaim the plane and I want to see a heat map or like a skill on Slasher <laughs> when he has been on that wing. He has just been ripping everybody. Uh, I mean, I've seen him kill Formal from that spot so many times. Even Kenny doesn't matter what gun he has. He wins the gunfights. But we go back to P2. It is Thieves with the spawns once again. They basically got the full 60 last go around. And right now, they got a 60-point lead. Uh, I mean, they're trying to run the score up. And you think Moscow was a blowout. Well, Thieves are trying to respond in kind. But there's three down is Optic bullying their way through the front. The Yeezys are on the other foot now. Kenny, he's going wild so far. Scump may have had the big first half point, but so far it's Kenny in this matchup. Back over to Scump. Featured player gets brought down. Kenny, though, 21 and 10. He is going wild so far. Ashi and co from that top plane position. You still have some presence at the back now. Draza and the rest of the spawners up close. Envoy doesn't stand a chance. Dashi, he's about to get a whole load of trouble nice. as the Alaskan assassin keeps the play alive. And now, like rolling thunder across checkmate, the LA Thieves looking to secure the map. Yeah, indeed, they're, they're just playing at a blistering pace right now. It feels like Optic never have room to breathe, like constantly fighting from the back foot. And even that moment where Optic get a couple kills, try to work their way through the front, then it's just the nades that rain in from the spawner. So these even coordinating well in these moments. Maybe a 
similar situation when we had last go around, right? It is Thieves that dominate P2. It is Optic who leave formal. And that back left blocking spawns. Yes, but you lose a little bit of pressure. And last time Thieves took full advantage of that fact and had a pretty strong P3. This time, though, a bit scrappier is Kenny. Why lying to victory, but Dashy there to take him down. A scrappy hill, as always. We love a crazy scrappy hill. Envoy, nice shots at range. 74U, Kenny of all players at bay there. And this is a good look. Once again, as Optic trying to keep the hard point a little safer, He's trying to keep the thieves off of it. If you can't get the time, don't let your opponent get it. Now Envoy still keeping the push alive. Next hard point's up, John. Smoked. Flasher. Smoked. Envoy is on a spree. Three now, and they're big kills. And this is hard point control chance. We could be seeing the comeback right here. Oh, this is also like the, the setup, right? You got the full control right now of this hill. You got the spawns potentially for new. This is where the chains oh of God. checkmate become dire, where the leads evaporate oh. before <laughs> your eyes, and that is a clean four down and optic. You talk about a, a team that has been the back foot the entire game. This is the first time where they've gotten a four down and can take a breath and can communicate and get set up again and, and get ready to go. And you got Dashy heating up as well. He was just on a five. Scum's back on it. Gets himself two, 27 and 23 overall. The last time we checked in with him, he was all even. Envoy now on a four spree. Looking to make it the fifth. John, Slasher, who's he gonna be? Oh, I was gonna say, why not both? Porque de nos dos is John. 18 and 20 now, trying to make the push towards the hard point. Draza from the wing, providing the cover. Thieves with the hard point. It's only five seconds, but that could go a long way. Rotation's already down. Optic in position over by the stack. They've got themselves back control, but the kills are going through. You'll see where they spawn. They should still be spawning low left-hand side. Very, very close. Here comes the push from the Thieves from the front. And it's John in on the hard point. Dashi now battling with Draza. Kenny backing him up as well. Thieves have just pushed their way through the front. They have headbutted their way in, but Dashi trying to slow them down. The kills are their chance. Thieves still with a point. Oh, and shout out Lupe. They broke the chain. They got through. That was the main issue, right? If you lose this rotation, things get out of control. But already at this point, they have done enough. They have stripped away enough time on this hill and still winning the gunfights. Draza managed to get inside just to get a bit more time to go their way. And they have the plane control. Opted have had the good spawn this entire time, but have not been able to get out of the spawn. And this has been the Thieves, again, put in a very tough situation making the best of it but at the same time this game still not over not Thieves, over. keeping everybody out of the plane though they will be the first team in new oh it's not over yet and this is a tough one now you've got to make the break for optic they're still spawning in the same location back left how many more times will they spawn there and this is it 10 seconds to force the game five dashy trying to make the entry from the rear can't get it done over to one boy cut down as well it's on a formal can formal find at least something you've got to keep the play going no one's even close enough to get the contest game five we're going the distance we're going back to moscow and on a very very strong map for optic the la thieves they steal a hard point and they are very much back in this game the reverse sweep is still alive uh, and, you know, there is theft of some hard points and there is dominance in others. These ran the show. Uh, again, it is never looking like a fun situation to have to play Optic on this match with your back against the wall, but they took it to them basically from start to finish. Even when things started to get dicey, they started making those big plays. What a just, uh, I don't know, massive checkmate back to back string. Thieves are able to bring together. Uh, and just talk about the disruption as well, because like the setup for Optic, they were about to have a nearly perfect stage five, 3 0, every team that's not named FaZe, and then all of a sudden, whoopsie, they're uh, now with the pressure on. Moscow game five to decide it all, and what kind of momentum can either team grab going into the fifth major is Kenny. What a ridiculous scoreline. And actually, I didn't see it. Him and Slash are both insane games from the assault rifle players of the LA Thieves. Big stuff out of LA Thieves. Forcing the game five, we will be back, friends, after this quick commercial break. Game five, Optic versus Thieves. We're going back to Moscow. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Tell your friends, get in it, pals. It could be over in the six rounds. You never know. We'll see you after the break.
Call of Duty League is brought to you by T-Mobile. T-Mobile is the shot caller in 5G. Lead the game from the lobby to the last push with America's largest, fastest, and now most reliable 5G network. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, game five, Optic Chicago, Los Angeles Thieves, we go to Moscow, all aboard the Cal. One more search and destroy in this series, and what a fun one this has been, friends. This is game fives this season. Chance, what do we make of the stats, my friend? Well, this has been the thing. I suppose that you can make the argument his haunted optic. It has been more specifically the round 11s, but the game fives haven't always been on point, but they have been much better as of recent. Like I think optic have won their last three round 11s that they have had in a row. Their game fives have been better. So the records don't necessarily sell the scene for the momentum Chicago has had in that regard. But at the same time, we're going to Moscow. Great map for both of these teams. But if I remember correctly, I think Thieves are undefeated on this map with Slasher, who occasionally can just pull out some magic. I'm thinking the plays he had against, what, Atlanta Face on this map, back against the wall, getting flanked, boom, Slasher picks up three. Just insane stuff that they can provide, but Miles, it all comes down to this. Oh, I love it. It's just like, it's all good, man. Like, we had a great- It had to be this way, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it had to. to. It had to. Uh, we have been treated today to a spectacular day of Call of Duty. Upsets in the morning, an incredible sweep from Rocker in the afternoon, and now in this evening. I mean, I don't know what the hell time zone we're on at this point in time. Call of Duty time, baby, that's what it is. This is going to be a sweet finish for the night. Two reverse sweeps for the LA season, for the LA Thieves so far this season, London and Seattle. Can they add Optic to that list? We will find out. But for Optic, I mean, if you're just going into this based on like, how was the search and destroy in the season, in the series so far? Well, it was incredible. It was phenomenal for Optic have to be favoring them going into this one however chance i think you said it la thieves have yet to lose in moscow search and destroy slasher on the roster here we go though. this is it game five let's get it my friend the last map that these two teams will play online before it is land for the rest of the year so in one sense that is nice for them to say but at the same time that means it's the last map you get to play to like decide what kind of momentum you get. I mean, for Optic at this point, they're staring down the barrel of a reverse sweep. So their options are clutch and breathe a sigh of relief that they took care of business and got the dub. And maybe they wish they would have done it a little bit quicker on the side of the thieves. I mean, if you have just a, a period of time or even just a year where things are topsy turvy and then you reverse sweep Optic and just kill their momentum right before the major, how uplifting that could be. And well, here we are on Moscow, stagnant of an opening break, effectively for both teams. Again, Moscow, just the, the map that is the information rotation battle. And right now, neither team has any. The formal's in the station for the information right now. Will you see the rotation? There it is. I mean, look, was that the rotation? Yeah, he's seen enough. Have the thieves committed though? Formal passes out the information, dashing out, looking to execute. Backs on up. Here's the nade. Sees the nade. You've committed enough now for the thieves. Surely that's it. Still on the other side of the map. It's the some machine gun duo of Envoy and Scump. They're going to be chilling over by A. Meanwhile, breaking and entering the thieves. They have made it into the apartments. And they're rummaging through drawers. They're now about to put a bomb down on the bomb site. But Scump, oh boy, draws and blows himself up. And Formal gets rid of John. So this little assault is coming to a close. Formal finds the killers. What the? What just happened? What was that? Okay. What the hell? Uh, yeah, that that's a round one is what that is. Where he, did, did Draz, was he, uh, was he in the room to the left or did he just nade himself he, inside a window room? He, he I, must, I, I could not tell you what happened. He must not have, a clue. he must have hit the nade on the inside of window. What the, mm, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He was one shot. It was an oopsie. It happens. Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely going to win that yeah. round. Sure. Let's just we'll we'll move on. Nice yeah. first round. Optic on defense. Yeah, they did, a great, they did a great job, though. Again, in the information play was smart. <laughs> they did everything right, dude. Like, 
If you're gonna, like, if the thieves are gonna blow themselves up, yeah, go for it, bro. But like, Optic did everything right otherwise. On offense now for Optic. A little more bold than the thieves were in their opening round. They're gonna try to get a little bit more information. But again, Scump with that bomb, he is making his way forward. Dashy, seen him carry that bomb many times, but they're on the cow. Scump with it in hand, and he's still holding the information station. Dashy knows he's there. We're still trying to keep eyes on. Formal's already made it across, and here we go, chance. Surely the play is afoot now. Kenny feels the pressure. I was going to say, he has to be very careful. I think Dash is waiting to see any of these players right back. He will be the perfect man for information, or maybe they're going to try to wow. make a play. Kenny should know all four players are here, but, I mean, it's what, a 4v4 on-site optic planting the bomb, and I think the challenge won't come in straight away. The timing might actually be perfect for John to try to go out and kill Skump. He makes his nope. move. Skump ready for the kill. He gets the first blood. First blood, easy. Cuts John down, flying through that window room. And now we go. Three members of the Thieves on the outside. Shots are in. And he's going to find one. Skump gets involved. How many more kills can Skump get this round? The answer is none left. Only under Dashy now in the middle of the street. And he's cut down. Ample time for the defuse. And Kenny finds himself three this round alone. And the defuse. Plenty of points going the way. That's my, my. That was a decent round out of the Thieves. A nice bounce back, and they sorely needed that one after the explosive first round they had. And Kenny is just straight up different. I mean, he's got one HP, and he just treats it like he's got 150. Just challenging everything. He's got the, the help from the teammates, and unfortunate for Skump, I, I think if that sign, you know, is not in the way, he spots him out quicker, but doesn't make a difference. Kenny, the Terminator, killing everything in sight. I mean, he just had a completely ridiculous game, number four. Three kills in that round as well, just to, to get his team to bounce back. And well, it's also two offensive rounds, one in a row. Both teams able to make, some, make something happen over towards B. He's hit now towards A. 4v3. Ravis is going to help. Scum's going to play this close left corner. Thieves looking to make the push. Round the corner they go. Straight into Scum. The trade's immediate though. Formal now backed on up. John's going to hit that nade. Nice kill to Formal. Kenny though from the backside of Bricks. Formal! 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 All three go his way and Optic keep the defensive hold at a sound. A delightful round of Formal blessed. With this beautiful aim, this great shot, and these three kills that go his way. In every single one of these rounds. I mean, it's just a square up. It's everybody meet at this part of the map. We're going to take the gunfight. Someone is going to be forced to make the big play. I mean, Kenny, for the round previous, this time it was formal. Able to just pop off. And, uh, I mean, just how, like, on point every single player needs to be for gun skill, reaction, communication, everything. A battle we have on our hands. There's now Optic back on the attack. Maybe an opportunity to get some distance within this game as far as SD is concerned they ran away with map number two but again thieves undefeated i'm pretty sure uh, again on this map with slasher and a six and two record overall thieves love them some moscow s and mm, of the cow correction formal did only get two that round of course the last kill went the way of envoy but three might not matter much anymore as the shots are there Nate, the nade does land, so the lethals are out and about now. Slasher will be empty pockets going into the rest of the map. The round, excuse me. As Optic make the very quick transition across towards A, but you still have a couple of members of the Thieves here. Envoy on the jump up there. Draza watching the back line. Oh, John wins his one as well. Oh, Draza slips right into the fight. Formal the last pillar left alive. 1v4. Give it to Draza. Three on the round. Beautiful stuff. We'll tie it up 2-2. Two Oh, and just hand it to him as well, right? Like, no one's even shooting back. Envoy goes for the peak, and I think when he jumps up, I don't know if he could actually see him or not, but either way, it turns into a free kill for him. Skump looking for the trades. Goodbye, and well, formal. You're just going to have to join him at that point. Just in like a, a 1v3, 1v4, whatever it was. Perfect ground on defense, and again, this time Draza making the big play. Not that it was difficult for him, but good to go. He'll be on a, a three spree going into this attacking round. As we'll see what Thieves can cook up this time. Quite a few slow B pushes that they have done. Obviously, they four hit A last go around on offense. And I think Optic might have felt that pressure. They triple stacked over towards A. And I think the battle now just comes between how fast does Optic rotate back? 
at least formal making that commitment straight away. But that bomb, it looks like it's leaning towards A. It's on Envoy then. He's first in. Nice off angle. Oh my god. Nice shots. Takes one with him at the very least. You eliminate Kenny from the round. That's a big win in my book. 3v3. Gone with bomb. Immediately gets out. Optic is still sort of checking the corpses over there by A, making sure that the play is still good. And honestly, right now, Dashi with the 74U over by the B bomb site. Him and Formal, it's all going to come down to them as the quick rotations are down. Dashi, oh my word. Slow and steady approach now. Flash is timing. Pretty damn good. Trades on point. 2v2. Bomb planted. It's T2P versus Draza and John. They've managed to overwhelm the bomb site now, and the thieves have had to bail. They've had to leave it. In the street side now, Trace are there, shots in John, can he be the hero now for his team? No need, teamwork prevails, LA Thieves take the round, they go up by one so far, man this is a great search, isn't this fun? Isn't this fun fans? Dude. So fun! And just down to the wire, again as well, like this, it's just oh. reaction time, gunfights and John popping off, right? Like doesn't get two piece by envoys there for the trades, brings that bad boy bomb straight over and wins the gunfights towards the end. Every single play around, excuse me, outside of maybe the, the Draza three has been down to the wire. Thieves with the advantage now in this map. And they might have the perfect play call on defense as well. Thieves are going to be triple stacking it for the first time. Optic might be playing aggressive, and it's going to be Envoy and Skump by themselves effectively on this site. They're going to be dealing with a few or maybe, just maybe, they'll get out of dodge, make a little bit of noise, get a trophy down. I think they're thinking about the rotation, and they are gone. <laughs> Gone, man. They played that one fast. It's all on Kenny now. Left, right, left, right. Checking both angles he's got to cover. Optic are going to avoid it entirely. Just get inside the bomb site, get the bomb down, and bring the fight close. That's exactly what they want. But Scott Man Envoy to work right now. Oh, cheeky feet. Oh, and he's all good. Here we go, though. 4v4 retake. In close range on the B bomb site. This is going to be an absolute blast. Envoy throws a mean shoulder, a fast one at that, but the kill comes through. Draza's there. Draza makes it onto the site. A stick on the scum. What an incredible two-piece. Kenny's involved as well, and the bomb's getting defused. Formal has got to go. Fly, Formal, fly. Crouch, get under the bus, maybe get the kill. No, the bomb has been defused. And even if he didn't get it, the coverage was there. Thieves with a great round on Moscow. And that is back-to-back. -back. Well, not back-to-back, -back, but that is two times for Optic when they get the bomb down on the site. Thieves just run them over through the street. I, I just no pressure from the ARs in that regard or even the subs. I mean, Envoy throws a shoulder, spots out everybody, but Thieves just don't care. They just fly forward and, and put the pressure on. And, and that is just Thieves, again, doing effectively the, the same retake twice and Optic not making the adjustments for it. And right now, as it stands, I mean, Envoy, a little bit struggling in the series, double negative, dashy, only one kill to his name. And Thieves just on point so far. I mean, again, they got obliterated the first two maps. And talk about a team that has no quit them, fought all the way back, now have the lead. And leaning towards this B site once again, but it looks like Optic much more prepared this time. They'll have three bodies already up here on the defensive end, but it is a slow approach. LA moving their way forward. I also been told by the observers that Slash's team kill and streaks as well, but it don't matter. Draz is there. Back and forth we go. 3v2, Draz is straight back onto the point. Oh my god, the movement from both players on point. Slash wins a big one. And now it's Envoy. 1v2. Draz with bomb in hand. Just waiting on Envoy. All the players you want in a 1v2. He's going to play this one slow, but here comes the headbutt now. Thieves. Hand in hand, fly forward, cut down optic, 5-2, series point, LA Thieves. Oh my God. And again, it is just dominating that outer street area. This is where they're finding all of those gunfight wins and even towards the end, that's the play call. Don't go for the plant. We haven't seen Envoy in a bit. Make sure everybody has their gun up, ready to go. Thieves have been on point around that B site to the point where if I'm optic, uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to feel like my hand is forced to go towards A or just if we go to B. Make sure we just have somebody there on that street. Lay down, shoot under a bus, shoot through the bus stop, whatever it's going to take. But it seems like they're feeling the pressure. They're going back to the default, just playing for some intel, spreading across the map and maybe hoping for a, a thieves mistake. But thieves haven't made a mistake in what feels like the past 30 minutes. Yeah. Hope will not get you far 
against the LA Thieves on Moscow. Raza may have gone 0 and 7 on Express, but here at 8 and 2, he's thoroughly enjoying himself. On planted. 4v4 retake. Any once again in top police. Here comes the three man hit through white as the remaining members of the thieves will now try to get towards the bomb site. Formal with the street coverage, and we're going to see that battle once again rage. And again, formal. Uh, I'm going to imagine he's the player with the pleasure on. Already he gets back down, but now Daxi, the adjustment is there. Ready for the street pressure in the cleanup. Kills are in. Optic, not going to get fooled a third time. The adjustments are made. And this time, they play that post-plant positioning perfectly. No one's getting caught. All thieves not going to be able to make that happen once again. Even still, though, uh, despite the adjustments being made, it is still a, a sizable lead. It is going to take four rounds in a row for Optic to avoid the reverse sweep coming through. And thieves, I mean, they get a, a couple more tries, a couple more attempts, and maybe just more opportunities for Draws to find even more kills. Eight and three, not too shabby at all. As he has had himself a very strong performance, uh -oh. really strong past three maps. And there you go. First blood is in. Dashi gets caught in, in Optic. I was going to say, I mean, they're just going to have to flood back through B as quickly as possible. But it's not like these have rushed over too quickly. They are still taking their time because they have plenty of it. One minute still on the clock. Trying to force Optic to make a mistake right now. Scum has eyes on that B-bomb site. He's got eyes on the cross from the window room. Right onto the bomb. Formal backing him up in the street side. Envoy playing alone over by A. But that tight corner he's in, he may be able to get one player. Two if he's really lucky. This is going to be big. Here come the thieves. There's one. We'll see how lucky he is if he can get another player out of this one. But here come the reinforcements. Optic now lining up. Oh, but they run into Slasher. They run straight into him. 3v2. It's T2P. The bomb planted now. Here comes the push. Formal makes his way forward. He gets himself one. The attack's still raging though, and again, you can't get any more. And it's a 1v2 now for Scum. Now it's a 1v1. It's Kenny versus Scum. The bomb's still down. Kenny has eyes on the push now. If the play is being made, it's got to happen now. Oh my god. Chance, we're going to hold our breath for a moment. There's a lot of time to work with on the clock, and Kenny is going to post up in a corner. Scum's going to run by. Damage dealt. Is it enough to get the kill though? Scum, back and forth we go. 15 seconds, Kenny! Holds the line, gets the kill, the reverse sweep completed. And just like that, the perfect record on Moscow continues. The LA Thieves, after what was a disgusting, diabolical beginning to the series, they close out strong. And Optic, been a great stage so far, but today it was this LA Thieves who showed up to play. And that is a disturbing amount of momentum that Optic nearly had that just gets snuffed straight away. And Kenny, man, lives for those one-on-ones. He lost it against Skump on the Express to lose the game over at map two, but wins the one that matters the most in the game number five. Insane. Just resiliency coming out of the Thieves, man. Because again, Topsy Turvy took a loss to Paris, got bullied out by Atlanta Faze in moments where we thought the team was looking good. Fizzles out, all of a sudden their final match, they end up taking down Optic and again, just to make stage five that much more spicy. Again, Thieves uh, clearly have proven themselves to be a capable team. Take down the, the old mighty Optic on checkmate, hardpoint as well, disrupt that nearly perfect record that they had. And uh, I mean, Thieves just a, a wonderful job of playing spoiler, on point with the first bloods as well, at least for that final round, Slasher finding that pick and really sort of setting the scene for the final round. but. Just a group, team effort, straight across the board. Everybody for Thieves putting in some work. Oh, baby, we're selling hoodies tonight. As the LA Thieves, they are loving that victory. What a game five that was. Brilliant stuff. That was Gucci, our producer just said. Oh, my God. He ain't wrong. It was a good series, though, but that is that. Optic, a, a stinger for them, for sure. But all things have to be said. Like, this has been, this is two teams who are, like, in very, very different places right now. Optic are on the up and up. They're looking so strong coming into this major. Thieves, like, how do you go from, like, a very good, extremely competitive series against Atlanta Phase to getting bopped by Paris to now having beaten Optic? Like, none of this makes any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like, chance? Am I crazy? Am I mad? Like uh, I mean, generically, yeah, you're, you're a little bit crazy, but at least for this call, completely on point. It, it doesn't make sense. Thieves just in a, a very strange spot where they have 
absurd pop-off potential or even Kenny towards the end. I'm not the best lip reader, but I'm pretty sure he's saying it's too easy because he just handles players in those like one and ones in the search and destroy. Even the round where he picked up three like outer bust just blowing these players out. Kenny completely ridiculous. Draza putting in some work as well. His ability to bounce back, drop a donut in game number two, have a blinder for the remainder of this series. Uh, I mean, he's still a fresh face in the league. He's going against Optic and he's pulling off performances like that. It is just the, the kryptonite, I suppose, in a sense. Or maybe Kenny and Slasher have been the kryptonite to Optic uh, over the course of their careers. <laughs> Certainly a battle anytime players like that uh, square up against each other. It really is, man. Whether you're flying the green flags or the red flags today or you're a neutral, it was one hell of a series. But we do have our scuff play of the game. We're going to give it to that final round. Of course, that 1v1 win that sealed the deal. Kenny gets his revenge. But what happened on Express, they got smoked so bad. It was real ugly. But this was a great way to turn it around, Chance. Walk me through these final moments. Well, one, nice angle from Envoy. But then he ends up just going toward the outer angle with the sub. And Slash is like, all right, I will happily <laughs> take that free kill. Thank you very much. Formal pulls off some wizardry because he kills Slasher in this situation, I think, from the top rope. Actually, that one was normal. I thought he turned it into two. But ends up just getting baited out, setting up Skump for the potential 1v2. But... It's just him versus Kenny. He's tagged up one shot. Kenny knows where he is. He's got the Krig. He's got him pinned down. And again, Kenny just playing the situation perfectly. Nice reposition over towards that optic corner. And, well, just makes the, the perfect use out of it. Again, it is just a, an expertly played 1v1 by Kenny. Has the ice for the situation. And basically never allowed Skunk to have any opportunity on that map in that situation. Just incredibly well done. And again... I can't read lips, but I'm pretty sure he's saying it's too easy. What a just insane way for them to cap off the online COD. I can only imagine. Slasher might be the happiest person in the world in this moment. You know who really is going to be the happiest people in the world right now? The people who get to go to Playoffs and Champs Sunday. Tickets are still available. Live at the Galen Center this August 19th to the 22nd. Head over to callofdutyleague.com forward slash championship hyphen weekend. You can still get a ticket. They are selling out though. We cannot wait to get back to land. Oh baby, what a day this was. Wonderful Call of Duty. When we come back after the break, it's your boy Kenny. It's Mr. <laughs> YY himself. Love it. Life right now. He's talking a lot. That's our Game Fuel Victory Spotlight coming up right after this break. Hello everybody and welcome to your Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. Joining me, I have Kenny from LA Thieves. First of all, Kenny, I mean, my gosh, what a comeback, guys. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was yeah, absolutely was ridiculous. Um, what a belter of a last match for today, for sure. Now, I got to ask you, Control was the point in that series where you guys were like, 
yep, you know what, we can reverse sweep this, no worries, right. all good. Um, what, you know, what did you guys do in, in the last three games to really turn this around? Because it really was like a 360 in terms of the comparison of the rest of the series. So what did you guys do? Um, well, map one and two, we were really like indecisive as a team and just not playing confident at all. Uh, going into map three, we just made that apparent that that's what we needed to do going into this map and that we knew that map three would be the swing map to at least get back in the series and make it close. Um, they were just dominating us one and two. So uh, going into map three, like I said, we just went in confident, just played our game and just said, play like, play like how we play in practice. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, checkmate control, we've been playing really well on. We just haven't got to play in a match, but glad we finally got to play it. Yeah, you guys showed what you can do on checkmate control. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe a good thing taking this win, but hopefully no <laughs> one's watching the VOD review on checkmate control for you guys anytime soon. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you about John. I've spoken to John myself when he joined the team, mm -hmm. but Kenny, you've been such a staple here at LA Thieves, and I I've got to know how you feel about having him on your roster. Is this the final form you guys have been looking for all season? Uh, Final form, not yet. We're still trying to get there. Um, This match was actually a big match for us. Like, motivation-wise and also confidence-wise. Uh, John's been a big part of our team success so far. Um, he's really good at maneuvering our map. He's a really good teammate, really fun to be around. And uh, just overall, just a great player. Love to hear it, man. Now, you have done quite mm. a few things in your Call of Duty career, and you've been to World Championships. How mm. close is this squad right now to being able to compete for the title? Um, well, we played FaZe close. We lost to Paris. And then we just beat optics. So I feel like we're at a weird spot of inconsistency. Once we can get consistent to where we're playing, how we played in those last three maps, I think we'll be pretty close to at least putting up a fight at champs and maybe taking it home. So we'll see. I love it. Well, I'll tell you what, you have an entire major to do it. Uh, get practicing, man, because uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time, Kenny. Thank you so much, Lottie. <clears throat> Well, there you have it. That's our final game pure victory spotlight of today. But don't worry, the night is young. We're all young. We're going to be at the desk breaking down everything we've seen from today. It's going to be nameless, myself, stud. We're going to be talking all the action, so you don't want to miss it. We'll see you after the break. Acting up, acting that way out of pocket. For the grind, for the hustle, I can't knock it. Do what it take, do what you do, you can try. I've been up, I've been stuck up in the sky. Only at the top, I can't lie. Haters watch it, throw the peace, tell them bye, 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 bye. I got things to do, I got fans to get. Competition up in smoke, ooh, cannabis. Ask me why I'm a top 10 candidate. I'm so fly, I'm so clean, ooh, and I'm rich. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kid, they can't stop it, they can't stop the kid. Check the score, but I'm running up stats. Numbers don't lie, that's facts. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kid, they can't stop it, they can't stop the kid. Check the numbers, I'm running it up. I got plenty fans, I'm thumbing it. Yeah, yeah, tell them move, get up out the way. It's through the Chris, yeah, how much I'm getting paid. Two, four, five, seven. 10k, no mob ties for the play up being made. Now, how you spoke to your girl, better check her phone. And do you know what she doing when you not at home? And when she tell you she alone, but she not alone, she got a lot of options. Any money more, she gon' do what she want. Ain't no stopping it all. Pour the liquor in the cup, yeah, I'm topping it all. I might take your girl, take a trip to the mall. Put the shelf in the bag, yeah, cause I'm copping it all. I'm saying, they can't stop it. Well, what a day we have seen. A couple of close calls. And a dominant 3-0 for Rocker. And that has been your day here at the Seattle Home Series, people. But let's take a quick peek right now at the CDL points. Well, despite the loss here, guys, brick by brick, Optic did cement themselves as the leader in their group as number one seed. And they get the bonus points for getting the top seed, too. So don't panic. The green wall should still be smiling right now. 
But let's see if the lads are smiling. So, Nameless, Stud, welcome to our HQ once again. I've got to ask you, you know, obviously we expected a lot out of Optic here. LA Thieves showed up at the uh, half of that series and managed to take away with the win. Uh, but I, I got to ask, you know, what you're feeling about it, Nameless, overall thoughts? I got to admit, I'm disappointed in Optic Chicago. I know they locked up the number one seed. They played great throughout the stage, but they mailed it in right before the last match that they had. They had to close it out, man. They're up 2-0. They're dominating them. On maps one and two now even if la thieves have that bounce back of a map three you're going into a checkmate hard point where you've been stellar all year long right you got to win that one and even though they managed to lose that it comes down to a game five you have that opportunity to shut it away beat this team you know that they can be a possible big opponent going into the last two big tournaments and they're still not able to close it so it could be a good thing for optic uh, on one hand it can keep them hungry go really hard in practice but man that's a devastating loss after what they've done in the last four games prior and then on the opposite side, man, I called it. I called it. I didn't know it was going to be a reverse sweep, but I had a feeling. Today was just a day full of it. upsets, and the Thieves have managed to get it done, man. They got completely dominated those first two maps, and they bounced back strong the next three, and that's just something we don't see. The resilience that that team has shown was insane. Going up against Optic on two back-to-back -back checkmates, I wasn't expecting them to walk away with it, but they came back. They forced it all the way to a game five. They kept the composure, and this is going to do wonders for this team because their confidence is going to be through the roof, man. Completing a reverse sweep versus a team like Optic who have just been recently super hot, man, that Thieves team, they're looking good. They're looking good. Yeah, they, they really are looking good right now. And yeah, I, honestly, I was quite surprised too, especially with the double checkmates. And speaking of stud, checkmate hardpoint in particular, I mean, yeah. LA Thieves managing to cover both entrances there, really dominating. Optic couldn't do anything about it. Walk me through what happened. Yeah, so towards the very end of that checkmate, Optic did a great job at P4. I thought that that was going to be their comeback into this game because you're usually going to be able to chain that P4 to P5. But what LA Thieves did so well was just get there early. And they, even though we're jumping into this clip a little bit in the middle, you see Draza. He's contesting this point. He's making sure that he's being super annoying because all the Chicago players are still going to be spawning out towards the back of P5. They have full plane control, and this is something that the Thieves did really well towards the ending of the game. Optic did great. They were starting to fight back but once they weren't able to get that chain this is yeah. where it really started to turn the game because all these kills start coming out you see they have every single exit cut off they're fully set up for playing and we didn't see this from the d's first time around optic completely dominated p1 but this time around you see kenny picking up kills left and right and with only 10 seconds left they still were forcing optic to all spawn out towards back p5 and this was just a great setup and overall gameplay from the d's yeah they did that they executed that flawlessly like you go over setups in practice so you yeah. try to figure out how you want to play it right so on that rotation they did a great job. Jaza picked up some, you know, scrap time in the hill. And then they set up on both exits while Kenny's in the hill, right? They know exactly where they're spawning, right behind back boxes, and they're they're holding them in. Kenny's looking through the window. He's getting kills. Draza's staying alive on the back steps, and that is so crucial. He's just playing his life. And then right before that, you saw John was holding that box, just playing for one kill. He just needed one kill. He got his kill. Jaza's able to get the trade. It was beautifully played by LA Thieves. The communication was on point. They did exactly what they needed to do to close out the game. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, we got the US Army schedule coming your way for tomorrow. You're probably wondering what we have on the board. And let's take a little peek right now, presented by the US Army, of course. We have Seattle Surge starting your day versus LAG. Our T-Mobile 5G weekly drop is NYSL versus Atlanta Bays. And our Game Fuel Monkey match, Ultra versus Dallas Empire, an absolute bang it if I don't say so myself. Now, I want a little focus here on New York subliners. Obviously had a little bit of a revamp as of recently, but New York did win without close to the other day as he takes a break. So my question stud for you at the moment is, you know, what is the ceiling for New York without him? You know, where, where, where can they get to? Uh, I think the best thing that they can do is T8. And it's not only because Clayster's not here, he's going to be taking his leave of absence, but it's just the amount of days that this team has to practice. Like, they only have three or four days underneath their belt right now. And it's just going to be really difficult. All these teams are polishing at the right time. You see all these teams getting into that final form. And I feel like with New York, 
they just hit the reset button. So it's going to be really difficult for me to try to get these guys above some of these teams that have been uh, together for quite some time. So TA is going to be where I feel like is the best placing for them. Yeah, I I'm going to go with top six. I think they could sneak away maybe one upset. I mean, you look at the teams. you got Dallas, Toronto, FaZe, Optic, LA Thieves. Like, those teams are all looking really solid. But after that, I mean, it's really like Minnesota Rocker, Florida. Like, New York can still get a big upset win over one of those squads. Uh, but without Clayster, man, I don't think that championship-level play is going to be there. He's such a good leader when he was playing for this squad and you know obviously he has that pop-off ability as well that we saw in the first half of the season that yeah. you're just not going to get with diamond con so uh just it's too quick of a turnaround for them to be making that kind of run yeah it's a, it's a difficult point in their season for sure uh, especially going through what this team have gone through i feel like they've gone through it all in the the last half of this season um but I'll tell you what it is promising because obviously they did manage to take a win the other day, um, basically on no practice at all. Oh, yeah, so yeah. let's see what a little bit of practice under their belt can do for them. But I'm, I'm in total agreement with you guys there. Well, I'll tell you what, that is all we have time for. That's all she wrote in Seattle for a day three here. But don't worry, we do have day four coming your way very shortly. Same time, same place, and we'll see you tomorrow. The bomb. This is huge chance. 3v2. And they're looking for some player because even Temp is waiting for someone maybe to, to fly out of top piano. And right now it's just one player on the back alley, but maybe that's an opportunity for Afro to make the play. He's thinking about a flank, and this is not a bad 2v3 potential right now for the Ravens because Afro has cleared out all this information. Someone needs to check the bomb, though. That's what they're going to be fearful of, or maybe they've made the call. You get the, the information on the top player window, and even though Afro's going to fall, look who's managed to get out towards that Dox Heady. It's going to be Paul X. Easy gunfights for him to win, and you can play the clock and how do you let the 2v3 happen ravens again in the round 11 get the job done control still going the way mostly of rocker but florida not out of the woods yet and, but just the absurdity of what it looks like to deal with like rocker in this moment man you're getting spawn killed by standy you get past him and then it's well the other coordinated three that have been on point with the teamwork i mean it's what one top tank one stacked up in trash the trades are gonna be here there has just been no window of opportunity for florida to get anything done this entire series i mean i don't know if rocker made a mistake in any of these three maps this has just been like pure gameplay coming out of Minnesota, and they sealed the deal in dominant fashion in what may very well be the best series that they have played all year long. Insanity coming out from Rocker. This is going to be big. Here come the Thieves. There's one. We'll see how lucky he is if he can get another player out of this one, but here come the reinforcements. Optic now lining up. Oh, but they run into Slasher. They run straight into him. 3v2. It's T2P. The bomb planted now. Here comes the push. Formal makes his way forward. He gets himself one. The attack's still raging though, and again, you can't get any more. And it's a 1v2 now for Scum. Now it's a 1v1. It's Kenny versus Scum. The bomb's still down. Kenny has eyes on the push now. If the play is being made, it's got to happen now. Oh my god. Chance, we're going to hold our breath for a moment. There's a lot of time to work with on the clock, and Kenny is going to post up in a corner. Scum's going to run by. Damage dealt. Is it enough to get the kill though? Scum, back and forth we go. 15 seconds, Kenny! Holds the line, gets the kill, the reverse sweep completed!